as a child um, in my family, we grew up going to church every Sunday, but it didn't remain a huge part of my life. I started working at my grandmother's restaurant when I was around 12 years old and um, would work um, rather than go to church on Sunday mornings. It was kind of a, a way out. I was struggling a lot. I had gone through a period of depression and just really was seeking for something. I knew that there was something missing in my life. Back in the summer of 2008, a friend encouraged me to go to church at Bellevue on Sunday nights. So I got up the nerve to come and I saw believers worshiping in a different way than I had ever seen before. God began to tug at my heart. One day was different from any other day at the restaurant. I was waiting on tables and as I looked up to the front door in walked Brother Stephen Mastana. I knew at that moment that it was not a coincidence that they had come in. I began to share with them how God had used them in my life, how I had been attending Bellevue on Sunday nights, but I wasn't plugged in. I wasn't around believers that were my age. Ms. Donna informed me that she was the life group teacher of the women in the college ministry, and I knew that that was exactly where I needed to be. I ended up going to church that very next Sunday and attended worship and then made my way to the life group. And as I walked down the hallway, everybody greeted me with open arms and open hearts and just began to love on me and accept me. Shortly after coming to Bellevue, I surrendered my life to the Lord and was baptized in August of 2008. I was burdened for my sisters and for my family. I wanted them to be able to experience what I had experienced. I remember specifically praying for my little sister Ellen and wanting God to impact her life in a miraculous way. Ever since I was little, I've always looked up to Mary as my best friend. When Mary got plugged in at Bellevue, I saw that she had a love for people. She had a sweet, kind, gentle spirit that, you know, I wanted. I didn't know how to get that. I went away to college thinking that that's what I needed just to get away for a little while. I wasn't connected in a church. I didn't have church friends and church family. Mary started inviting me to The View. She'd asked me to come a couple times and I'd always say no, you know, have something else to do. And the day she left to go to Kenya, she said she was out of her comfort zone that I needed to get out of mine that week. The first week I started going to The View, Leslie came up to me and asked me to join her life group. I was kind of embarrassed to go to church. I was afraid that I would get judged for not knowing anything, but that wasn't the case at all. Everyone was so accepting of me. They loved me for who I was. They didn't care that I had never been, that I didn't know anything about the Bible. Um, they were just there to support me and walk with me. Getting a phone call from Ellen as she was crying, telling me that she had given her life to the Lord was the most amazing feeling. The thought of me having Mary to walk with me through this life is so exciting. It's so amazing. Um, I love her. She's my best friend and she's my sister. And I'm so excited to go down this path with her. We have God holding both of our hands walking through this life together. My name is Mary. And my name is Ellen. And this is our Red Chair Story.